Whoa! It is windy out there! Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you click that subscribe button down below these donut boxes and, and below the video too. This morning, me and Dustin, Dustin is behind the camera today. This morning, we are going to be hunting with Pit Properties here in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Pit Properties, if you have not seen our last video from last fall, is a waterfall outfitter that offers really good goose hunts. Late season, this place loads up with geese and a lot of banded geese. And they offer some pretty sweet goose hunts. Not your uh, normal goose hunt that you are probably used to. This is a little bit more luxury here. This morning, we are hunting the city pit they call it. This pit is right outside the city and this is one of their biggest pits. As you saw I came down from Hurricane Katrina there me and a goose decoy. We both came down and this is just the start of it. So you come down the stairs they got this huge area full electricity lights underground obviously it's a pit and then they got the black top stove. Duncan's gonna be cooking breakfast this morning. Uh, full breakfast and then you walk in here and you just got Another gigantic area that you can stand up in. I mean, I'm a short guy, so like I can stand up in anything. I can probably stand up up there. But just another huge area. You got two heaters in the pit, nice and warm and toasty. You're not gonna get cold down here. So this is the nice hangout area right away in the morning, whatever, when the birds aren't flying. And then when it's time to hunt and the geese are flying, you walk up these nice little steps here. And this is the shooting area up top here. So this area is uh, not really tall. You sit down up here, of course, once the birds are coming. And this is where you're gonna have your gun, all your stuff. And pretty much the guides are gonna be calling this morning when the geese are flying. And then you're not gonna have this open like uh, John or Dustin would pie facing the geese until they tell you. And then you're gonna slide this thing back, pop out with your gun and kill everything. Like this. Go. My gun wasn't loaded. Anyways, we're gonna go park the trucks, uh, help these guys fix these decoys because it's like 30 mile an hour winds this morning. It is absolutely horrendous winds. And this pit is right on the top of a huge hill. So the winds are really whipping as you saw when I flew in with a goose decoy. We're gonna get to work here, get the rest of our stuff in the pit. And then we're gonna get in here. Duncan's gonna cook us some breakfast probably. And we are just gonna hang out in the pit and have a good day. So stay tuned, we're gonna kill some geese this morning. Probably have a lot of laughs and it's gonna be a great day. Wanna get soothed? Nope, I'm pretty soothed. Watch this. Breakfast time at Pit Properties. We're making some bacon here. We got uh, French toast coming, hash browns. Sausage. The French we toast. We got the works. That's my favorite, the French toast. We got the works. Cinnamon raisin French toast at that. Not just regular French toast. That's what I'm talking about. The good stuff. Did you put your special sauce on here? No, not yet. Oh, it sounded kind of weird. Well, you I, know. I mean, we'll see what we can do. I mean, you don't need to ask some of the questions. What are you doing, Doug? We got a little black mamba for Zach Henry here. For all your black mamba needs, call 188-703-FIRE. Jeez, Duncan. You'd have to flex on us like that. I'm starting to think he's never done this. Can you roll the yolk down from your shoulder into the bucket? Egg bay. <laughs> it's about to get chaotic, boys. Well, I refuse until I eat. <laughs> a little bit of bear grease here. Thanks to Bob Bears out of Ely, Minnesota. Oh, I hope you guys aren't above a shameless plug. Thanks, Bob. You know what that sounds like? Hmm. No 
more, no less. I could teach Steve Rinella a thing or two. Just saying. Breakfast! Alright, well, old Dunk Man's breakfast is just getting finished up here and we're being interrupted by some dang geese already. These guys are gonna try to call at these and get these groups in. There's a couple groups coming out of town right now. We're gonna see what they do when they get here and then we're gonna eat some of this breakfast and then we're gonna hit her hard and get serious here. <coughs> This one's on the house. Oh, perfect. I got a Mondo plate of food here. We're about to eat breakfast, and then we're gonna kill some geese. Is Duncan a good cook? Oh, yeah. You approve of the breakfast? Mm-hmm. Munching on bacon while they're calling geese? This sucks. If I have to put this bacon down to shoot at something, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> Alright, well that was the first uh, two pack that dumped into us. Most of these birds have been like, they all come over us, look at us, and start to spin, and then they literally just grab this strong wind and they are gone. Yo. I stood up a little fast. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another one, Dustin? Oh, yeah. You went on a chase for that one. We are at like 12 geese right now. I think that makes 12 geese. It sounds like we have more geese coming, so we're gonna keep trying these things and see if we can shoot a few more. It is super hard in this wind to uh, call the shots and have decent shooting after you call the shot because these geese can be like literally 15 yards from the shooters and once they get up and start shooting they just ride that wind and take off and they are gone. What is you doing? How was that, Duncan? It's cold. It's cold and it's windy. Yeah, you look cold. And it's cold. And, it, is and it, it's windy. Is it still cold? Did I mention it was cold and windy? <laughs> I'm freezing down here. Ooh, it oh, is. It's snowing, too. Yeah, it is windy down here. Ooh. 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 Brr, shiver me timbers. Shiver me shimbers. Black. Mamba. Ooh. Ooh, that's not enough. <laughs> what? Right? He put a lot. Did he put a lot on there? <laughs> oh. did, he, did he put a lot? Yeah. Yeah? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's not going to be fun. Mm, it's going numb. That's a good... Oh, I'm not feeling too swell. 
photographer right there. <laughs> We did end the morning here with 15 geese. A lot of these geese were migrating, so we had a huge cold front push in and super strong north northwest winds. And a lot of these birds were getting in this strong wind and they didn't really want to look at us or come down to feed. They were just trying to get the heck out of here and migrate south. But we still managed to get those 15 birds. But we're going to get out of here and we are actually going to be hunting again this evening with Duncan at a different pit that they have. But me and Dustin, in the meantime, here we are going to go look at where these birds are roosting and kind of show you where these roosted birds are and how many birds sit here and maybe we'll get lucky and see some bands over there but we're gonna pack up get out of here and we will see you at the roost and hopefully show you a bunch of geese here's a nice double band Oh, hey guys. The duck wizard. Let's see. Any on hey, this reminds me of an early season hunt I went on. Actually, that was in July. Me and Dustin just arrived to the next pit that we are going to be hunting with pit properties. We went, looked at the roost, looked at some birds, and we saw a ton of banded geese and a bunch of mallards. It's uh, like 2.30 in the afternoon. The birds are going to be flying within probably the next hour, I would think. But we're going to head out to the pit, and if we shoot something, you will know more, or you will see geese working, or you will see something else after this point. So stay tuned, and we are about to go out and try to shoot some geese here this evening. <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh, click, <laughs> click, <laughs> boom. You know the song? The song like that. Yeah. Let's go, Dunk. Two more, baby. All right, buddy. Boot Mark, you want to come in? Get a pick with us? One more? Give him your phone. Well, me and Dustin each got to shoot at a volley there this evening. But when we got out here, these guys at this pit this morning, this was a different pit than we were at this morning, and they got some, they got a little prize here. Sorry, talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
We tried to get in for yesterday. You know, and me and Dustin just got back to the truck and we both had a blast out here at Pit Properties. If you guys want to check out Pit Properties, I will drop the link to their website down below in the description of this video. But big shout out to Duncan for being our personal chef and uh, getting us on some birds this morning. But if you guys like the video, make sure you guys click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not done that yet. And I will see you on the next video when my voice is back and better than ever.